Hey everyone, welcome back to She Tried It. It's officially time to start a new pattern. I'm actually headed to church right now, but after church, well, after church and after I eat with my boyfriend, hopefully we're gonna go buy some new yarn for this project. Ah, two months! I'm officially out of church. Me and my boyfriend have eaten and it was delicious. And we're about to head to Michael's. And the Michael's that we're going to is the one that I'm super familiar with. So I don't have a lot of faith in what we're gonna find, but we'll see what we find. I'm gonna have him help me pick the color. In my mind, I'm thinking red waffle stitch sweater. And the reason for that is I had this red sweater as a kid that I loved, so I'd love to recreate that. But it doesn't have to be with this. I'm sure I'm gonna make another sweater cardigan in the future. So if it's another one, that's totally fine. Just to give a little bit of backstory on the pattern, this pattern is from Two of Wands, who I often refer to as my bestie. And you know, the more that I say that, the more that I think it's coming true. I don't know how many of you saw the Two of Wands color theory yarn release video that I made, but that was because she asked for my address and asked to send the yarn ahead of time, like before it got released, which I thought was so sweet. Another thing to mention is that today's pattern is free. Now it's not a free pattern, but it is free for me. Two of Wands hosts this contest on her Instagram called Crew of Wands, I guess. And what she does is if you make a pattern of hers and you post about it and you hashtag it, hashtag Crew of Wands on Instagram, she has a monthly contest where she'll highlight someone who, honestly, I think it's either making her pattern or using her, one of her yarn lines. And she'll basically choose a winner and the winner will get posted on her Instagram and they will also get a free pattern. I got a free pattern and this happened to be the pattern that I chose and I'm really excited to try it. However, I'm a little nervous about how long it's gonna take. I just finished doing the, it's called the Weekend Brunch Scarf and that one uses waffle stitch as well. And because waffle stitch kind of goes back and forth with knitting and purling in a different type of way, it just took me a little bit longer. So I'm hoping this cardigan doesn't take me years to finish, but we will see. With that said, I'll check back in once I've got engaged and all that type of stuff. Okay, Karina, so what's the vision, ma'am? A red sweater, but these other colors look pretty. Okay. There was supposed to be a red wood. A rojo wood? Yeah. Let the people know how well I can crochet in it. This is kind of a wax selection. What? That was it? Yo, why did we come here? <laughs> This is not a wax like selection. Aisles. This is three aisles. Are you complaining? Okay. Okay, here are four options. I want to reiterate these are not good options, so if you need to go to Joanne's, you can. We this place is Michael's? It's this Michael's. Michael's does not suck. It's this one that is not good. Okay. Okay. This one is Wool Ease in the color Umber. Are we thinking yes or no? Is this you? Oh, I thought you were talking <laughs> to the audience. Um, yes, I like it. I like we're, it. We're trying to decide between the four colors, so let me just go. Okay, the four so I like that one. Feel it too. I don't know if this gives sweater feels. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Um, this one is Heartland in the color Yosemite, which I've been wanting to use for a while. Feels good. Okay. I like it. I like this that one better than the first one. Is just bread. Bread. And this is the Michael's bread. I love the texture of this one. Mm -hmm. But it reminds me of uh, Ronald McDonald's hair. I was gonna make a bright red sweater. Okay, okay. I like it. And this one. But I like the other one more. More than this one? No, I like the the, the second one you showed okay. me more. And then this one is autumn red. So it's autumn like red. deep red. I love the deep red, and it feels really nice. It does feel nice. So of the four, which we don't have to get it from here. Or it could be white. Number two. I like the this second one's option. Yeah. Okay. 
you know, that's actually pronounced yo Semite. No, I'm just playing. Another thing to mention is this is a waffle stitch cardigan. Do you know what that means? You showed me what a waffle stitch was, right? Oh, you do know? Yeah, I think I did. Do you remember? Is it? That scarf that I'm making? That's yes, waffle stitch. I was yeah, about yeah. to say that. The scarf that you're making. Mm -hmm. I like it, yeah. So this would be cute in waffle stitch. Oh, yeah. Big time. I'm not just saying that either. Because I'll let you know. In my mind, I was just really thinking red. Another thing to consider. No, this is a good color. Okay. What if your audience hates my decision? That's on you. That's nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh, so supportive. Because um, I was going for red, but I don't like that red. I wanted this in redwood. That was what I wanted, but we came here because of somebody. No, don't you put me in this. I, I gave a suggestion. Better. But this can go with a lot of stuff, like jeans, t-shirt. It sure can. It's very folly. Yeah. That's honestly why I picked it. It can go with a lot of things so and color in my <laughs> yes Karina, yes yeah. okay, okay. Right stop recording yeah unless you see another one you like quick update i've made quite a bit of progress since the last little clip that i showed i always struggle with figuring out which side is the right side and the wrong side but i'm pretty sure this is the right side the waffly side and see how well it goes with my nails i don't know if you can tell but I want to start making projects that coordinate with the nail color. I don't know if y'all think that's corny or weird, but I'm not a nail person, but I want to become one. If you're up for that, let me know. This is how it's looking so far. I'm quite a few rows in. So far, all I've done is this much, and I also did a gauge swatch, but let's talk modifications. These are just off the top of my head modifications. So one thing, which is going to be no surprise to anybody, I'm cropping it, but yes, I don't know if you've seen, well, the pattern. I'll show a picture of the final product from the designer over here. The way that the cardigan's designed is to be kind of one of those long, kind of oversized, flowy cardigans that you could wear with maybe leggings and a tank top and it would cover your butt, which I do love the thought of that but I have an idea, but I do love the thought of that. However, for mine, I just wanna be different. I'm gonna go ahead and crop mine, not super cropped or anything, but just where it comes to my hips probably. And that's what I'm thinking in terms of a modification. So far, the modification I've done, which is not much, but because I'm cropping it, I didn't want it to look too thick, so I took off four rows. Is that gonna make a difference? Probably not, but that is a modification I did. So mine only has 10 rows of ribbing and I'll probably do that all the way around and on the wrist and everything. Another thing I'm not sure if I'm gonna do is the pockets. I only have one make that I can think of off the top of my head that has pockets. So it depends on how the pockets are written into the pattern. I may or may not add them, but I feel like a short sweater, a crop sweater with pockets is kind of weird as I wear a cropped shirt in pockets, so maybe it's not weird. I don't know, I'm gonna feel it for it. I'm working on the back panel right now. That's the way the pattern starts. Once I get through the back panel, I'll kind of gauge where my mind is and see if I want to add pockets on the front panel because I'll need to decide that when I move on to the next step. Other than that, no complaints. It's a free pattern. I am happy. I love this color. It looks like fall and watching all the little fall YouTube videos, it feels so great to work with something so beautiful and orangey so i would say my boyfriend did a pretty good job picking out this color i will update you once i either finish this panel or get further along in this panel but it's knitting it's gonna take a while at this point you should already see the video i did before this for the scarf that i made which used waffle stitch that project helped me realize i am not quick at waffle stitch i went into this pattern knowing i'm gonna take a while this is not gonna be a quick make i'm prepared for that mentally at first, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna finish the knit waffle stitch and I'm gonna do a crochet waffle stitch. A few rows into this, I was like, no, we're not doing that. The way my body's set up, I do not have time to be fitting in a crochet project. So it'll just be this, then two more projects, and I'm done for the year. And one of the two projects I have left, I'm more than halfway done. It's the crochet along. If you don't know about the crochet along, you should. I did an announcement video which you can watch here. And you can join that still. There's definitely still time, I believe. I think you can get it done. I believe in you. But yeah, I will check back in later. Okay, so here I am a few days later, just kind of checking my sweater. I must say that I think cropping it was the best thing I could have done. At this point, it was almost at the length that I wanted, but I just added a few more inches. And at this point, I also decided that I did want to add pockets. 
the only issue with that is that the pattern told you where to add the pockets and because I cropped it, I didn't keep that in mind. Hello everyone, we're back. And I'm so excited because my hair came out really good today. Anywho, the sweater is done and this is the big reveal. Just so everyone doesn't think that everything went perfectly on the sweater, I just wanna go through everything with the sweater. There is one mistake. At first when I was like wearing it, I had like a brain fog or something. I thought that I seen the sweater inside out, but I didn't. Everything seemed correctly. The only issue that I did have, we talked about the pocket, how I meant to do two, but only ended up doing one, but I think it looks cute. It looks like a grandpa sweater. Oh, it's gonna be so warm. I should see if it's cold outside because I might be able to wear this today. Anywho, one mistake I just noticed and I have no idea how I did it. On the pocket, I have this like string in the pocket. I don't know <laughs> if that's like, yeah, I have no idea where that came from. I am racking my brain trying to figure out how did I do that? I don't know if it's supposed to be on the inside. I don't know if two of wands can watch this video and figure out what I did wrong, but I don't want to cut it and weave it in because I guess I could cut it and weave it in. I just don't know what that's going to affect. I'm just going to leave it in the pocket because it's in the pocket. But like if you open the pocket, there's this string. So I do make mistakes in case you thought I didn't. I make mistakes on everything. I just don't always tell y'all. Other than that, it is pretty perfect to me. I'm so excited to wear it. I love how it turned out. This color, my boyfriend, like he did a great job with this color. So. No reason to bully him. I also love the shoulder shaping. I think that it gives the sweater a beautiful look so it's not so boxy like a lot of other sweaters that just kind of go straight across and bind off. But you see like it goes down the arm. It goes down naturally without like, I don't know, it just looks prettier to me. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Yeah, it just looks really, really nice. I like how it comes together. It looks great with my skin tone and my hair. Look at that. Ooh. I don't think that this would be a full she tried it video because I made a cardigan. So I think that because I made a cardigan, I need to style the cardigan. So for today, I'm wearing the same stuff I always wear. These jeans are from Old Navy and this shirt is from Walmart. I wear this combo pretty much with every cardigan I make. I'm gonna head to either Target or Old Navy. I'm gonna head to some store and it's just gonna be a quick little montage, you know, for the few people. I think everyone's a convert that cardigans are awesome, but I know there are some of you out there or there might be somebody who's just watching this video or seeing me for the first time. So if you don't know, cardigans are awesome. So I just wanna show you why they're so awesome. So I'm gonna head to a store really quick, style this cardigan and I actually have a lot of stuff to do today. Actually, let me show you what I have to do. The thing I have to do today is finish up my make along with my subscribers. So I'll put a picture up of how it's gonna look in the final product. I'm doing the knit version of this. It's by Brianna K Designs and 
I really need to get on it because this will be the next video after this one, but I have a few weeks to get it done. I'm not worried about not getting it done. There is still time. We're finishing this sweater by Thanksgiving. That's when the video is going up. So if you missed the video, you can watch this video to see the announcement, but you can still join in the make along. Right now, it's just me and one other subscriber, which I'm totally fine with. The fact that somebody joined me to make this is just amazing to me. And she's from Texas, so she's like right up the road, I'm sure. She's finished hers like a long time ago. I need to catch up. And I'm not really sure where everybody else is, so I need to, you know, be the leader of the pack and hop on it. So I'm gonna go work on that in a coffee shop after I show y'all why cardigans are awesome. But for the most part, that's it for this video. Definitely check out this pattern by Two of Wands. Thank you to Two of Wands for giving me this pattern it's not a free pattern but like i said i got it because of the crew of wands thing and what i'm wondering can i win another free pattern with crew of wands like if i hashtag crew of wands with the free pattern i got could i win another free pattern not that i don't want to pay here because i love spending money on this i just wonder if that's even possible i could make history by like winning another free pattern with the free pattern how cool would that be i think that's it let's head to the store and see how much i can style this cardigan Thank you. 